As Breast Cancer Awareness Month comes to an end, survivors and doctors say while awareness is important in October, we should talk about it 365 days a year. By the age of 50, one in 50 American women approximately will have had breast cancer. We talk a lot about risk factors, but the biggest risk factor for getting breast cancer is simply being female, right? So we are all at risk and therefore we all need to be aware. We get lost in taking care of our children so much. We try to be good parents and make sure they have everything, but we can't be good parents if we're not here. You know, so we have to take care of ourselves too. So I, I, I believe that is not only for Breast Cancer Month, but all through your life, take care of yourself. Dr. Barbara Ward, the medical director of the Greenwich Hospital Breast Center, says it's important for women to take charge of their health. The American Cancer Society changed screening guidelines. Um, us as physicians and clinicians who see breast cancer patients every day quite honestly, have had a tough time swallowing their new recommendations. They are kind of soft, though, where they say, well, if somebody has any risk, they should still stick with the old guidelines, which is starting at age 40, mm -hmm. for screening mammography. Um, here in Connecticut, we are also to do a breast ultrasound, particularly in those young patients, uh, when they have dense mammograms. So most women are dense between the age of 40 and 50. Um, so to be completely on top of things, I personally would say say start a mammogram at 40, add an ultrasound to that um, because you're likely going to be dense between 40 and 50. We know early detection does save lives, there's no question about that. Um, and particularly since, you know, if you think about it, you, if you see a breast cancer walk, there's thousands and thousands of survivors. Well, that's the good news is that most women survive breast cancer, right? And yet, Cer certainly the sooner we find it, the better. Brenda Drayton was diagnosed with breast cancer less than a year ago. I was on my way home and the doctor called and I said, give me five minutes to get home. And I pulled into the parking space and she called back and she told me it was positive. And um, I had my moment in the car and I cried. And then I was like, you know, practice what you preach. You tell your kids all the time, you know, you have your moment and you keep it moving, you know. I'm a fighter, you know. So when, when I got this news, there was no way I was just going to lay down and accept it because I'm a firm believer and you don't have to be a victim of your circumstances. You know, there's always a way out, you know. African American women are at a African American women are at a greater risk of getting breast cancer and presented with a more advanced stage of the disease when they are diagnosed. What's interesting is a young black woman has a higher chance of developing breast cancer, but her risk gets lower the older she gets. So an older black woman is actually at a lower chance of breast cancer um, than the average white person. So, um, so it, young black women in particular, right, have to be on top of their own breast exam and their imaging. Mm -hmm. And so I certainly would you know, say stick with those original guidelines of starting screening at 40. I was blindsided with it. I didn't see it coming. And I tested negative for the BRCA test. And so sometimes people might say, oh, I, taste, I tested negative, so I can't get cancer. No, it can happen. It's very important to, if you have to go every six months, then you go every six months. If you go yearly, if you haven't gone yet and you keep putting it off, like, okay, I'll make my appointment next time. I'll, make, I'll have to go, I have to go. Or when something happens, like, oh, I better go. No, you need to go, make it a priority and go. Make your appointments, keep your appointments. A New Yorker, Brenda traveled to Greenwich Hospital where she underwent a bilateral mastectomy, reconstructive breast surgery, and chemotherapy. They were from day one when I walked in. I mean, it's been, it, I mean, such a positive journey. It, it, everyone, even if they were having a bad day, you couldn't tell. Everyone that I came in contact with was just wonderful. And I remember the navigating nurse, um, Jan, she said to me, she said, if you have a problem, she said, your problems are my problems. Mm -hmm. She said, you called me and you let me know. And I'm, that was just like big, a big relief. Because during, you know, during the process, you have all the stuff coming at you, the paperwork, the this, the testing, the da-da-da, you know. It's a lot. So it, 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 was, it was comforting when I came here. The day I left, they gave me a little angel, a guardian angel, you know. So it's, it's been just wonderful. And it helped me get through, you know, the hard times. Don't be a victim of your circumstances. Be positive, take it one day at a time, and it's not a death sentence. With the t technology they have today, the medical technology, 
I mean, you can live longer. And it, your attitude has a lot to play with that as well. So I would say just be positive. You can find out more information about breast health by visiting GreenwichHospital.org. Reporting for the Greenwich Sentinel, I'm Quajerba Crawfee.